Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. Dusty here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add non-Steam games to your Steam library. So as you can see here, I've logged into Steam. I am over at my library here, the second tab. Uh, you can see a list of all of my games here on the left as well as the uh, the visual interpretation on the right here. In order to add a non-Steam game, there's a couple of ways you can go about doing this. Uh, the first and best of which is to go down to the lower left-hand corner to where you see the add a game button and it has a uh, plus symbol here go to add a game and then go to add a non steam game or if you don't see that button go up here to the upper left hand corner and go to games and then add a non steam game to my library so again add a non steam game and then once you do that it's going to then search your computer for applications or things that they think could be games uh, and we can add other things other than games so you might could add Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Office uh, all of that here to your Steam library and do everything under one launcher if that's what you want to do so once the add a game option gets done kind of searching your computer for applications and games go and find the game that you want to add so in this case I'm going to add World of Warcraft I'm gonna put a check by that there and then what I'm gonna do is go to add selected programs now if you don't see the non steam game that you're wanting to add sometimes it gets a little tricky like games that are installed from the epic launcher sometimes don't pop up here also games that are installed on external hard drives or other hard drives than your main C drive sometimes don't pop up so you may have to go to browse and then once you're here go and find the launcher or the uh, .exe file uh, for that application or game and you should be good to go but as you can see here I put a check mark by the game that I want to add to my library and then go to add selected programs and you can add more than one if you would like now as you can see World of Warcraft has now been added to my Steam launcher now it doesn't look that good obviously because it's not native to Steam but now I have that green play button like I normally would and then if I go back to my library here go back to home you can see now down here under all games World of Warcraft does come up in the visual interpretation uh, section here so if I select that there and then hit the green play button it will launch battle.net which is in turn how you launch World of Warcraft. Uh, and then it will load up and launch the game as it normally would as you can see here I'm gonna close out of that because I don't want to do that if you want to change the name of that game if it doesn't show uh, just the game name and it shows some weird title you can right click on that game and then go to properties and then under properties you can see here our target and destinations all that good stuff we can go right here and double click and we can change the name of that if we want to uh, I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this video also lastly if you want to change how this screen looks <laughs> just to make it look a little better you can right click right here where the banner is so you can right click and then go to set custom background and then if you have an image that you want to use for that background you can choose that here as you can see I've added an image that I've downloaded off the internet to kind of adjust and make it look a little better uh, and then if you want to change the icon over here that shows up in the list view you can just right click again go to properties and then right here where you see the uh, game icon which for this game worked out perfectly you can just select that game icon find the actual JPEG or PNG image that you want to use and then replace that there as well so that's it about adding non steam games to uh, steam it's something that again if you want to keep everything under one launcher it is a great way of doing that if you have any questions please put those down in the comment section below if this video helped you out please help me out by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video